29 years is a remarkable span for any television series to endure, and Captain Kangaroo holds that distinction. Broadcasting from 1955 to 1984, it held the title of the longest-running children's show of its era. Despite being surpassed in longevity only by Sesame Street, its sustained success raises intriguing questions about hidden facets. Delve into the enigmatic forces that sustain this classic, uncovering its secrets, and exploring the keys to its enduring popularity across its nearly three decades on the air. Let's unravel the mysteries behind the longevity of this iconic show. Bob Keeshan, the beloved host of Captain Kangaroo, wasn't the first choice for the iconic role. Initially, Al Lewis was considered but couldn't take the part due to contract issues. Before donning the captain's outfit, Keeshan showcased his comedic talents as Clarabelle the Clown on Howdy Doody, where he honked horns to communicate. This early role highlighted Keeshan's knack for humor, and laid the foundation for his success as Captain Kangaroo. The switch in casting decisions proved fortuitous, as Keeshan's warmth and humor endeared him to generations of viewers. His previous experience as Clarabelle allowed him to bring a playful and endearing charm to the character of Captain Kangaroo, making him an integral part of this classic TV show's success. In 1955, Bob Keeshan, known for his departure from Howdy Doody due to a disagreement with Buffalo Bob Smith, found success as the host of Captain Kangaroo. Despite his earlier troubles, Keeshan's talent shone in this classic series. He used his platform not only for entertainment, but also for advocacy. Keeshan became a vocal opponent of violent video games and shows lacking educational value, highlighting the importance of content that enriches young minds. His legacy on the show extended far beyond the screen, leaving a lasting impact on children's programming and values. In 1981, Keeshan, the beloved host of Captain Kangaroo, suffered a near heart attack, prompting triple bypass surgery. Fans flooded him with thousands of well wishes. Despite his popularity, dark secrets about Keishan's behavior on the show have surfaced, hinting at a scandal akin to the Bill Cosby situation. In 1955, the TV series had a flexible show structure and content with various antics, stories, guest appearances, and regular stunts within the treasure house, later renamed The Captain's Place. In 1955, the TV series premiered alongside the Mickey Mouse Club, its main competition. Both shows gained significant popularity, a dark secret revealed a ledge that Bob Keeshan would expose himself to his sidekick Mr. Green Jeans before going on stage. This classic face competition from another well-known show, but managed to captivate audiences while dealing with a disturbing revelation. In 1955, the TV show Captain Kangaroo experienced behind-the-scenes turmoil when Mr. Green Jeans endured inappropriate behavior until he finally retaliated. After a long spell of tolerance, Mr. Green Jeans shocked everyone by urinating on Bob Keeshan's legs following a day of shooting. These shocking events, though shielded from children, reveal a troubling aspect of the show's backstage dynamics. Captain Kangaroo fans were taken aback by the surprising turn of events that unfolded off-camera, shedding light on the less-than-harmonious relationships that sometimes existed behind the scenes of this classic. In 1955, Captain Kangaroo entertained audiences with its wholesome content. However, in the context of Keeshan's actions, there is a shift in perspective. Keeshan's behaviors, once viewed lightly, are now seen as inappropriate and offensive by today's standards. This highlights how societal norms have evolved over time and how the gravity of past actions can be reevaluated. Captain Kangaroo remains a classic, but the lens through which we view it has changed. In 1955, the TV series Captain Kangaroo premiered, captivating audiences with its wholesome content. However, recent revelations have shed light on disturbing events from the past. These revelations, though unsettling, are now considered remnants of history, sparking debates on their current significance. Despite its significant cultural impact and long-lasting joy for children, the dark allegations surrounding Bob Keeshan's conduct with his co-host have tarnished the show's legacy. As societal norms have evolved, these allegations stand as a stark reminder of the complexities that lie beneath the facade of beloved public figures. Time may have passed, but the shadows of the past still linger, challenging us to reflect on the multifaceted nature of those we once revered. Captain Kangaroo will forever be etched in history, a reminder of the nuances that color even the brightest of personas. Captain Kangaroo is a classic TV show that first aired in 1955. The show is set in a friendly and colorful world where Captain Kangaroo, played by Bob Keeshan, 
interacts with a variety of characters like Mr. Green Jeans, Bunny Rabbit, and Dancing Bear. The plot revolves around the captain engaging in educational activities, telling stories, and teaching valuable life lessons to kids. The show received numerous awards for its contributions to children's television, becoming an enduring favorite for generations of viewers. Captain Kangaroo continues to be celebrated for its wholesome entertainment and positive impact on young audiences. In the casting process for the 1955 TV series Captain Kangaroo, each key actor was carefully selected through auditions, chemistry tests, and pivotal moments. Bob Keeshan was chosen for the lead role based on his warm demeanor and rapport with children during auditions. Hugh Lumpy Branham impressed the casting directors with his musical talents and ability to connect with audiences. Cosmo Allegretti's versatility in puppetry won him the role of Mr. Moose and Grandfather Clock. Pivotal moments like Keishan's improvisation skills and Branham's natural comedic timing solidified their casting choices. The chemistry between the actors during screen tests sealed their roles, setting the stage for the beloved cast of Captain Kangaroo. In bringing the 1955 TV series Captain Kangaroo to life, the director's vision was clear and focused. Drawing inspiration from classic children's literature and theater, the director aimed to create a show that was both entertaining and educational. Their style emphasized a warm and welcoming atmosphere, encouraging audience engagement and active participation. Collaborating closely with the cast and crew, the director ensured that every aspect of the show reflected their creative vision. Through effective communication and a shared sense of purpose, they brought together a talented team that worked seamlessly to bring the story of Captain Kangaroo to the small screen. The production of the 1955 TV series Captain Kangaroo involved intricate set design, various locations, and unique logistical challenges during filming. The set was carefully crafted to resemble a warm, inviting living room where the captain interacted with his characters. Locations ranged from the main set of the captain's home to outdoor scenes in parks and neighborhoods. Logistical challenges included coordinating child actors' schedules and managing live performances. Innovative techniques and technologies were employed to enhance the show's production value. The use of multiple cameras allowed for dynamic and engaging shots, capturing the lively interactions between the characters. Additionally, props and special effects were used to create magical moments that brought the show to life for viewers. Overall, the production of Captain Kangaroo required a balance of creativity, organization, and technical expertise to deliver a beloved children's program that stood the test of time. The musical score and soundtrack of the 1955 TV series Captain Kangaroo were carefully crafted to enhance the storytelling and emotional depth of the show. Composers and musicians worked closely together to create music that perfectly complemented the narrative and tone of each episode. The melodies and arrangements were designed to evoke specific emotions, whether it be joy, nostalgia, or suspense, mirroring the on-screen actions and dialogue. The composers drew inspiration from the whimsical nature of the show and the characters, infusing the music with a playful and light-hearted quality that endeared viewers to the series. The soundtrack became an integral part of the viewing experience, enhancing the overall atmosphere and engaging the audience on a deeper level. Through the collaboration of talented musicians and composers, the music of Captain Kangaroo became a beloved and memorable aspect of the show that continues to resonate with fans to this day. In one of the most iconic scenes of the 1955 TV series Captain Kangaroo, the director used clever camera angles to capture the emotional performance of the lead actor as he delivered a heartfelt monologue. The cinematography featured soft lighting and close-ups that intensified the actor's expressions drawing the audience into the character's inner turmoil. This powerful moment left a lasting impact on viewers, eliciting empathy and connection with the character's experience. Filmmakers and actors involved in the production praised this scene for its authenticity and raw emotion. The director emphasized the importance of capturing the character's vulnerability, while the actor reflected on the challenge of conveying such complex emotions in a single take. The scene's impact on the audience was evident in the outpouring of support and admiration for the actor's performance. Overall, this iconic scene from Captain Kangaroo demonstrated the power of storytelling through compelling direction, strong performances, and evocative cinematography. It remains a memorable moment in television history that continues to resonate with audiences today. The 1955 TV series Captain Kangaroo had a significant cultural and social impact. It resonated with audiences by providing wholesome entertainment 
and teaching valuable life lessons to children. The show influenced pop culture by introducing beloved characters like Captain Kangaroo and Mr. Green Jeans, who became iconic figures in children's television. Additionally, Captain Kangaroo contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes by addressing topics such as kindness, empathy, and the importance of education in a gentle and engaging manner. Through its positive messaging and engaging storytelling, the show helped shape the values of a generation and left a lasting impact on the television landscape. When the TV series Captain Kangaroo debuted in 1955, it received positive critical reception. Reviewers praised the show for its wholesome content, educational value, and the engaging performance of Bob Keeshan as Captain Kangaroo. Audiences also responded favorably, with parents appreciating the show's entertainment that was also suitable for children. The series garnered several accolades over the years. Bob Keeshan, who portrayed Captain Kangaroo, received numerous awards and nominations for his outstanding contribution to children's television. These accolades recognize his dedication to creating a show that not only entertained, but also taught valuable lessons to young viewers. For those involved in the film, such recognition meant affirmation of their hard work and commitment to producing quality content for children. Awards and positive reviews not only validated their efforts, but also opened up opportunities for further success in the entertainment industry. The critical acclaim and awards associated with Captain Kangaroo solidified its place as a beloved and influential TV series in the history of children's programming. During the filming of the 1955 TV series Captain Kangaroo, the cast and crew shared many memorable moments together. One such anecdote involves Bob Keeshan, who played the beloved Captain Kangaroo. Keeshan was known for his kindness and sense of humor on set, always brightening everyone's day with his warm personality. Another interesting behind-the-scenes story revolves around the creation of the show's iconic characters, like Mr. Green Jeans and Bunny Rabbit. The actors who brought these characters to life often improvised their lines, adding a fun and spontaneous element to the show. The crew members behind the scenes worked tirelessly to ensure that each episode ran smoothly, from setting up the elaborate sets to coordinating the actors' schedules. Despite the long hours and hard work, there was a sense of camaraderie among the crew, making the production of Captain Kangaroo a truly special experience for all involved. Overall, the making of Captain Kangaroo was filled with laughter, creativity, and a sense of family among the cast and crew, creating a show that would be cherished by audiences for generations to come. Captain Kangaroo, a 1955 TV series, holds a significant place in film history for its pioneering children's programming. Its influence on future filmmaking can be seen in the development of educational and entertaining content for young audiences. The show inspired a new wave of children's television programs that aim to engage and educate viewers in creative ways. Its legacy lives on through the impact it had on the evolution of children's media, setting a standard for quality programming that continues to influence filmmakers today. Have you ever watched the 1955 TV series Captain Kangaroo? It's a classic show that has touched the hearts of many viewers over the years. Share your experiences and memories with us. How did the film impact you personally? Did it influence your perspective on cinema? We'd love to hear from you. Like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic exploration.